Hello again. We're going to talk today about first fruits, or is it E A S T E R? The world this weekend is in, in the spring of 2020 is coincidentally celebrating f their E A S T E R bunny rabbit egg thing about the resurrection of Yahusha, not knowing his name, but they are celebrating coincidentally on the day of fruit, first fruits. First fruits was a uh, is a festival that we're supposed to recognize as the wave sheath offering, and uh, you may not have heard of it, but the pagan festival of I S H T A R or E A S T E R, the name of the Earth Mother of Babel, falls on first fruits this year in the spring of 2020. First fruits is the wave sheath barley offering pointing to the resurrection of Yahusha on the morrow after the weekly Shabbat during unleavened bread. You can see this at Deuteronomy or Debarim chapter 16 or Uikra or Leviticus chapter 23. Christianity does not observe Passover or first fruits or Shabbat because Constantine made sure to have nothing in common with the Yahudim. The oracles of Yahuwah have been transmitted to the world in modern times by the older brother that guarded them and referred to in Yahushua's parable of the two sons. He always kept his father's commandments. The older brother did. The parable of the prodigal son is very interesting. If you read it, it's Matthew 21, verses 28 through 32. The younger son is still in the pigsty, but some are beginning to stir back to their senses and escape the cult of Babel, the culture of Babel. When Yahushua comes, will he find the belief on the Eretz or the earth? If you read Luke 8, 18, verse 8, that question was asked. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye now. Yahushua said, And many malicious prophets shall rise up, and lead many astray. And because of the increase in lawlessness, the love of many shall become cold. But he who shall have endured to the end shall be delivered. And this besorah of the rain shall be proclaimed in all the world as a witness to all the guim. And then the end shall come.